So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Vinyl Master Cut as a beginner. We have a US Cutter Titan 3. They're not paying me to say that. I'm just letting you know for the video purposes exactly what kind of equipment we're using. And with the Titan 3 came the Vinyl Master Cut program. So the first thing that you'll do when you open the program is you go up here to this piece of paper. It'll say New Document. You'll click that. And right up here, you'll see that you have 8.5 by 11. Now, most rolls of vinyl will come in 15 inches wide. So you'll want to get your paper exactly 15 inches through here so you know exactly what the cutoff is as far as what it'll hold. So what you'll do is you'll come up here, you'll highlight the 8.5 wide, type in 15, hit tab, and then you have your canvas here. Now, if you're just wanting to use simple font for a customer, what you'll do is you go over to A, and then you'll click over here, or really wherever you want to. And then most of us have installed new fonts, either for Photoshop or whatever reason, school, whatever. And so if you want to change your font, it comes pre-installed there. So if you've already installed the font, it'll automatically install into Vinyl Master Cut. So if you wanted to change the font, you know, let's just say we want to do Akbar. So you click on that. Go right here, you'll type in something, and since this is a video, that's what I typed in. Now if a customer said, hey, I want on my medium sized shirt, I want it the logo 10 inches wide and 2 inches tall. So the easiest way to do this is you'll just stretch this right here up to 10 and then stretch it down to two. Now another way to do this is you can hit this lock button. See right now it's locked but what you'll have to do is unlock it. So if they said I want 10 by 2 you'll highlight that, push backspace, type in 10, hit tab and then it'll go to your height. So they said ah, I want two inches. Type in 2, hit tab, and then you have your font exactly the size that it'll cut out and exactly the size that you'll put on your t-shirt. So the next thing you'll do is you'll go up to this needle up here. and You'll click that, and this is what sends the actual file to the cutter. Now if you're doing a t-shirt, you want to make sure and click mirror here, because if not, it'll look the exact opposite on the t-shirt because of the film that keeps it there. So like I said, you click mirror, separate by color, doesn't matter in this video. We'll go through that in another video. But all you do from here is you have your vinyl in there and to send it, you just click cut now and that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. There will be more to come and please subscribe. Thank you so much.